Alfa Romeo finds itself in a similar position with the 2018 Stelvio SUV, Wick is a high-riding utilitarian built atop the lovely. 1-0 BEST cars winning Julia Sedan Bolster's Alphas lineup in its return to the US market. While the Stelvio also illustrates that adding utility to a performance brand's DNA can sometimes dash our expectations, the end result is a refreshingly satisfying SUV to behold. The existence of the Stelvio was initially a bit of a letdown, what with Alfa Romeo having teased us prior to its debut with the possibility of building a ground-hugging wagon version of the Giulia. Sexy, low-slung, and theoretically imbued with the same delicate tactility that makes Alfa's four-door one of our favorite new cars, a prospective Giulia wagon had us weak in the knees. But the reality is that a wagon would have been a non-starter for a re-emerging brand in today's market. Against the shockwave of the industry's crossover boom, the two-box Julia didn't stand a chance. Enter the Stelvio, which is designed to sop up the spills of suburban life with 19 cubic feet of cargo space behind its rear SEATS 57 cubes with a seat stowed and a seating height about 6 inches loftier than the sedans. While we've yet to sample the 505 HP Stelvio Quadrifoglio a version that currently holds the lap record for crossovers around the Nürburgring we have now tested the mainstream, Turbo 4 model. The Stelvio's mechanical makeup shadows that of the Giulia a turbocharged 2.0 liter inline 4 making 280 horsepower and 306 lb-ft of torque.